Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with this video. Um, this is a resin video, and all of this started, let me move this out the way, because I seen a, let me get this receipt out the way, a YouTube video, and I'm making a planner for my nonprofit, and I seen or came across this Sitch um, silicone mold to make the cover and I thought this was so cute and then when I started investigating silicone stuff I came upon the, these gift sets or toys or games there you go I'll get it right <laughs> so this right here is a mold for checker pieces and then these are little molds that you mold chess pieces. You can see there's the knight, the rook, the queen, the king. And so you mold this with resin and you make the pieces. And then I have the board right here where you pour in every other for the color, you know, pour in. And then, then you pour a coat on top of it to get the other color in there. And so this is the chess and checkerboard together. Okay, and it came with this little mesh bag, which I would presume you put these in after you're done. Then I got this because if you remember um, a while back, I showed you how to make your own clipboards. Well, this is a clipboard um, mold. So I can make my own clipboard, right? Then I came up with this idea that I was going to, for this Christmas, our um, family, generally for Christmas, I try to make something to give as gifts for my um, grandkids. And so this year it's going to be game. So I'm making my son's chess sets and the my granddaughter's um checkers so it'll be a chess and checker set so they can play at their house and then i'm making the dominoes i got the dominoes it's so cute this is only up to sixes though but the the set of dominoes and the, it came with the box so you pour the resin and make the box piece and then this all connects together and so you can have a place to hold your pieces so I'm going to make a few boxes so that they will be able to hold all of their pieces in the box. But this is going to be one of the next projects that I work on. And I'm, I'll do a test first to make sure it's working. Like I'll probably test how um, the molds work with the chess set. And I wanted to do the video today. This is Saturday because... Um, my husband is off so we can do resin together because, you know, we like to do the resin stuff. Me and him, we work with it together. And so I'll be doing that. And I'll bring you back a test to see what it looked like. And if it works, then I'll do a video of it, me doing it. And I really want you to see what this is going to look like. Because, like, see how they made this beach scene? That's, like, they did separate pours to get these colors in layers like that. And I really want to see how this is going to turn out. So first I have to figure out how much resin goes in here. And the easy way to do that, which with anything actually, what you do is you fill it up with water. Fill up the mold with water to the level that you need. And then pour it in a cup and measure it. Get a measuring cup and pour it in. It will tell you how much resin you'll need. Um, to fill up this mold. That's the easy way. I'm sure there's some kind of technical way to do it, but I'm not technical. So this is right here is what I'm going to be working with next. But I wanted to show y'all something that I did last night. So remember, I brought out the little bow maker, this little bow maker thing on my last video. Well, I spent a little while making some bows. And if you all know, bows is not my thing. I always do the cheater bow. That's why I bought this little thing was to see if I could make some bows. I watched several videos and I was able to successfully make a bow 
three of them with this bow maker. I'm a, it, and these are good bows. See that? It's not even coming loose. You have to like pull, I think you pull the knot to take this loose. Yeah. To, so the trick is at when I did these two, when I made these two bows, I cut the string. Then I watched a card making magic. I'm not sure what her name is, but it's the if you go to card making magic and it's the bow making, she did not cut her string. So I'm getting ready to show you how to do this without cutting your ribbon. Because if you don't cut your ribbon, you're not wasting as much. So I'm just gonna do a bow that has two spaces. You could do one with one space or whatever. So all you do is you you see that I just wrapped it around. I made a crisscross. You see, it looks like a cross. See, it looks like a cross. Okay. So then you hold your that cross and you slide this underneath it. You bring it on top of it, and then you take it around that piece. So all you're working with is this one side. So all I did was take it around there. Then I'm just going to pull it tight. So you're only working with that one side. And I'm just pulling it tight. And I'm sliding a knot. If it's too far over one way, slide it. If it's too far the other way, slide it the other way. And you see that? Now you have a perfect little bow. You want to see it again? Let's see it again. Because you got to practice with it for it to come out the way you want to. And I'm going to show you another trick that she did. So go over her videos and watch her. Don't Just don't take my look. Because she really shows you how to do this. She even shows you how to do a double and triple bow. Which I won't try to do. <laughs> so I'm going to leave a little more length on here. Right? <clears throat> and it will become clear in a minute. So you wrap that around. And then you crisscross it. So the first thing it is, you have to make the crisscross. This is all extra from the... So don't pay attention to this. Because I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm going to take this part. And I'm going to slide it under the bottom. Like that. And bring it across the top. Right? And then I'm going to wrap it around that piece. Or the the this is the extra ribbon. I'm just wrapping it around it. You see how it all is loose? It's okay because you're going to take this and tighten. You're going to take it and tighten. You see how it's coming together? You just take it and tighten. Take it. And all you're tightening, you're pulling and you're tightening to make your bow. Right? You're making your bow. And so see I have all this extra left? Let's see. I'm going to cut this piece. Ah, so, now I have a bow, okay? And I forgot what I was doing, so let's take this loose and do it again. See, it's just that easy how you can take it loose and start all over again. Because I forgot what I was going to show you. <laughs> okay, so we got that length. This is the part that's still attached to this right here. We're wrapping this around just like that, and we're crisscrossing it, right? See that? We're crisscrossing we got that. We're going to take this piece and we're going to slide this piece underneath. Just like that. And we're going to bring this piece across. And we're going to tuck this underneath it and wrap it. Go straight through. And while this is loose, you see how all of this is loose? Before you tie it, if you want legs like this, just slide this piece underneath your knot before you pull it, okay? And then pull it. Slide to put your knot where you want it to go and pull it. And what you're doing is you're pulling it to get it tight. You're pulling it to get tight right okay so now you see i have my one string 
And this is the part that's connected to the roll. I slid that one piece in there. And the reason why I'm doing this is to show you how this is going to work. So I'm going to cut this off right here. Okay? So now I've showed you three times how to do it. Um, she shows you much better than I can, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So now I have my bow, and I'm going to slide this bow off. So what I made was tails. See that? I made tails. I made tails. So you can straighten out your bow and tighten it up as you need to. And then you have tails. What are the tails for? What are the tails for, you ask? This is what it's for. Okay? I, all I'm doing is just straightening them up, bringing the tails together. That's all I'm doing. So the tails will be down underneath the bow. So this is the bow. That's my bow. And what you can do with this is, and I'm just reaching for... Of course, can never find an arbitrary, but oh, no, that's a cake. I'm looking for a card that I have already made over here, but all I see is five by seven. Okay, here we go. So here's a card. If I wanted to add this bow to this card, first thing I would do is clean up my tails. Clean up my tails. Just like that. So now I still have my tails. But the reason why you left this long part is so you can wrap it around your card base. So I'm just going to put some tape here and some tape here. And I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to put my ribbon wherever I want it. And then these tails are here to wrap around my card base. Where did I put the tape on the back? So I wrapped it around the card base. And so now I'm going to just put a little tape so that'll stay there. So now I have it wrapped around my, which normally would be this piece here. tearing up this card y'all this piece will be in here it will be tucked because you of course do all of this before you put the card together so this piece will be in here tucked in there and this piece would be the same tucked in here. Well, that one came a little easier. And so this is a way that you can add a little bit of ribbon. And of course you add these tucks prior to putting the card together. Of course, y'all. I'm just doing this as an example. But look at that. Now I have a ribbon on my card that I tied myself. And you can stop buying pre-made bows look at that and I have the tails on there because they're already tied in there look at that super cute go on card making magic and watch her do this better than I just did but I just really wanted to show you the bow maker and so you can see how you can make your bows. It depends on if you're left-handed or right-handed, um, how your bow is cut out. But if you don't want to keep it on this, if you don't want to keep it on, what I did was I cut a length of um, to 10. So to, now I'm going to do up to 8 to make this a little bit of smaller. And you can change and make these different lengths. They come out, and so I'm going to make it a little bit closer together. So I cut my length of ribbon, wrap it around, and made a crisscross. So you always make a crisscross no matter what you do. 
It's always a crisscross, right? So whichever one is on the top, that's the one that goes underneath and over like that. And I'm only working with that one side. Even though I switch hands, I'm still only working with the same side. So I take this and wrap it underneath. You're always wrapping it around the other side. Always. And pull. And you shape it to whatever side. And you pull as tight as you can to get it to be... Um, you're not. And so, and you can slide it back and forth. You see me to keep sliding and I'm pulling my tails downward so that they can be down and slide it off. And there is your bow. And there you go. You have a bow. See that? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So now I have a little bow maker that I can put. And if I want a bow big or small, you can use different size, different size um, ribbon to make your bow. And you can make a double bow. And I want to say I can make this double bow, but I might not be able to. But let's try it anyway. We're going to make our crisscross. But I'm going to have to cut this string, I think. I'm just cutting an arbitrary length. Let's take this one out and we're going to make this a fatter bow since it's going to be double. Okay, so we're going to crisscross this. Right? And then we're going to crisscross this again. Like that. The one on the top. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> you have to do a figure eight. You have to crisscross this. And then a figure eight and a figure eight. Now this one is on the top. You're going to slide this one underneath. Bring it back over. Wrap it around there. And pull tight. And you're going to pull. And you're going to pull. And to put your ribbon, you're not in the space you need it to be. Where you want it, tight. Pull tight, 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 tight. Then you're going to slide that off and separate, separate. And now you have a double, a double bow. And then you just fluff, fix, whatever. And so you can do this to get two, see? That's a double bow. But go on to card making magic bow making. And she does this so much better than I just did. But just think how much, how beautiful this would be if it was like a better ribbon and get two. But you can make your own ribbon. See how much better the satiny look better than the, the gingham. That's why they usually use these because it's, it's a better look when you're making bows from it, but they, that's how you do it. So I just wanted to come to you real quick with the new stuff. I will work with the resin and I will get back to you after I um, start making the pieces because I'm going to use my mica powder to color them. I bought, um, I did a haul with to get this mica powder from Arteza. And so I have a lot of colors. And so we're going to make the game pieces in a lot of colors. Look at this little bitty spoon. Huh. But I'm going to make, I'm going to start out with the mica powder and do colors. Wonderful. So we're going, I'm going to work with that. And I'll bring you back in once I have that uh, figured out. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you in the next one.